Hey, it's Cliff, and if you're looking to set your XCore trust line on Zoom for the XCore airdrop with your Sologenic tokens or your XRP tokens, this is the video for you. So I'm gonna show you this really quick. I highly suggest if you are one of those people that have your tokens on an exchange and you are expecting to get your airdrop that way to get your tokens, off of the exchange and just do this yourself because it's really easy to do. You can use a decentralized wallet where you don't risk that somebody's gonna come along and potentially rug pull you, take all your money, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, let's get into it. So what I have here is the XRPL services page. This is what you use to establish a trust line with the Zoom wallet. So you're gonna go over here in the center of the page, it'll say sign in with Zoom, hit that, and a QR code will pop up that point you're going to log into the app with your phone and in the center at the bottom you are going to hit the uh, blue icon there and it should say scan QR code you can hit that and it'll access your camera and you're just going to scan that QR code that pops up on the screen slide to accept that transaction and then it's going to ask you for your pin pop that in and then the transaction will be signed. You'll hit close. And then you are logged into the XRPL services page with your Zoom wallet. Now, the first thing you want to do here is make sure that this is set to main right here on the far right. You don't want that to be on test because we're not working on a test network. We are working on a live network. If you look down here, you will see trust set, trust lines. You're going to hit that. All right, so this account does not have any trust lines yet. And that's right, because we're about to add one. So, so this box here, you're gonna see XRPL address, which issues the token. So I have that information for you here. What I have is the XCore gateway, which is the issuer. I have the XCore currency code that you're gonna need and the limit. So what we're gonna need is the issuer here. So I'm gonna copy that real quick and then go back. All of this information I wanna paste in the description so you don't have to go to the webpage or anything like that. So just look in the description if you wanna copy this over, but I'm gonna paste it here and it's loading tokens and you can see XCore is here. So let's just verify that the limit set is correct and it pulled the correct information. Yep, looks like 50 million. That's 50 million. And then you're going to send trust set to Zoom. So that's popping up here with the transaction. Go back to my Zoom wallet on my phone. You're going to hit confirm here. To which it pops up with another QR code. You're going to hit that blue button again. Scan QR code on the app. Scan it. review the transaction and then you will slide right all the way on the bottom to accept a warning is going to pop up that says xpl labs and zoom does not endorse any token or token issuer you should only proceed if you trust the token issuer so then you're going to hit continue you're going to enter your pin again and it's going to verify that transaction takes a second, but then it'll say submitted successfully and you can close it there and you will be set up with your trust line as easy as that. So if you guys got any questions, need troubleshooting in the comments, please let me know. Thank you to my Patreon supporter, Kevin, and thank you for watching.